Hey, what's going on folks? And welcome to this next lesson in the SFML series where I'm gonna be teaching you how to compile and build SFML from source. That is the latest GitHub commit. That's what you're gonna be building from. So you'll know you have the latest and greatest features as well as just knowing how to build software from scratch, fix some of the errors that might arise, whether it's linker errors, missing include paths, or other weird stuff like our path or the wrong target development version. So all those mistakes and more I'm going to make and then I'm going to show you how to fix them and finally build SFML from source. All right, let's dive in. All right, hello and welcome folks. We are going to be building the simple and fast media library on Mac. I'm using an Apple M1, but this will work on other versions if you have an older Mac or a newer uh, version of the operating system or the hardware. I'm going to show you how I make some mistakes as well and how we fix them as they're very common things. Prerequisites, you're going to need CMake, that's what I'm going to be using. So go ahead and go to downloads, find the latest Mac version and make sure to download that and you should be all set. You are going to need a compiler. So if you type in G++ or Clang++, uh, make sure that you have one of these two compilers. In fact, on my machine, G++ just defaults to Clang. Uh, that's a little bit strange, but that's how it is. <laughs> all right. So anyway, let me go ahead and clear that and let's go ahead and go to download. And we're gonna to go to the Git repository to get the latest version here. I'll copy that repository URL here, and we'll go ahead and just git clone that repository. So let's go ahead and hit enter. That'll just take a few moments to download depending on your internet connection speed, and then we will CD into this directory here. Now I'm gonna do the same thing in a bottom window here just so I can show you sort of two different views of the source. At this point here, when you're building software from scratch, you want to look for config files, make files, or if we're using CMake, a CMake list file. Okay, so in this uh, root directory of SFML, that's what we have. And basically, this is the file that is telling us how to generate a project file for Xcode, for other IDEs or for simple make files. So you can go ahead and take a peek at that if you want. The important thing just being the version number here that you need a minimum version of CMake. Um, I believe I have 322, which is new enough here. So we are good to go. Uh, and anyways, we're going to be using the GUI version of CMake. It's just a little bit easier to use, but you uh, do not have to use that. Okay, so that leads us to the next step, which again is using CMake. And now that we have uh, SFL downloaded, we need to find where that folder is. So I'm going to browse to it. I've just installed it in my home directory and it is in SFML. And it, within this folder, we'll see CMake list. So that's how we know we're in the right place. And we need a place to build the binary. So by convention, uh, usually we'll just create a build directory uh, usually it could be outside the, the source directory, but I'm going to just place it inside here. Uh, and that will be our uh, empty build directory in this path here, which I've already got set up. So you could browse uh, to that. Let me just do it from scratch again so you can see. Anyway, this is the build. Okay, and then when that happens, um, again, this directory is empty. You'll hit configure, and you need to choose the generator for this project. This is the file or the project files that are gonna be generated. So you could download it in, or generate a Xcode uh, file if you wanted, but we're just going to use Unix make files. If you're missing make, you may need to do something like a brew install make or brew install build tools or something like that. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna use make files, it's not gonna matter for this step, you could use Xcode as well. Uh, so let me go ahead and hit done. And basically what happened during that step is it looked through that CMake list file, found out some different options that we can change to this graphical user interface, and then it looked for any dependencies. And you'll see those down here. If you're missing any of these like uh, OpenGL or Flack or so on, you might need to install those um, through various installers like brew or just downloading those packages from their respective websites. Okay, now there are a few things that I'm going to do. Um, you are gonna notice it is important that we are building shared libraries, so make sure that that is actually checked. Uh, and this development target is also important, 11.2. This is actually gonna cause an error later on in the video, but I'm gonna leave it in here just so you see how to fix that error, okay? So it's nothing too crazy. All right, so now if I look at my uh, build folder here, you can see that 
essentially it's been populated with some of these CMake options and now I need to hit generate and that's going to generate my make file because that's what I chose. If you chose a Xcode project, you'll get an Xcode project. Here I get a make file and I just need to run uh, make here. I'm doing dash J8 so I get a parallel build so it'll build faster. And you're going to see the different libraries uh, highlighted in white here that are being built. Uh, the test system, I think window comes up and then uh, graphics uh, will be the last one that's built. So those are all of our libraries. It's actually running our test suite, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we are good to go. So it looks like everything is good here. So where did it build those libraries? Well, there is a lib directory there. So let's go ahead and take a peek and you'll see those shared libraries, the things that end in dialib. Now there's multiple of these because they're just sort of uh, aliases, but uh, this is the actual uh, libraries that we care about here. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and try to build a project. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just in my build directory, I'll create it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just gonna create an empty file here. In fact, Let's go ahead and just grab um, from SFML, the learn section, tutorials. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one of these click. Um, I just need some uh, code here that I know works. And let's just go ahead and paste in the hello world here. Okay, paste that in and I'll quit it. And then again, we have our main file. Now let's go ahead and just try to build this and see what happens and take care of some of the problems that you might run into. So I'll use G++ or Clang++, get the file that I want to compile and I'll output this as program. And of course, immediately it's missing SFML graphics here. So again, if I just uh, take a look at that file here, again, this is what we're trying to include, but our compiler doesn't know where to find this file. It has no notion of this um, SFML directory that we have here. So if I actually um, go back here into the SFML folder, you'll see that we do have a uh, include folder here. Um, I'll, I'll highlight it so you can see. So if I CD into that, you'll see SFML. Well, that's part of our file path here. And then if I uh, CD further into that, you'll see that we do have graphics and then of course a graphics.hpp file here. Okay, so that is the idea. We need to um, include this path here. Now within this include path is SFML. That's part of the uh, file name here. So let's add that include path, capital I, and then I just paste in that path here. Okay, and then I hit enter and uh, good news, that error's fixed, but it's looking like we're getting some other errors here. So if I go ahead and scroll through these, um, one thing I am noticing is there's unknown type const expert. Um, and if I keep kind of scrolling up and up and up, um, it says that we're missing some C++11 features and such. So this library um, or this code relies on modern C++. That's the hint I'm getting there. Uh, let's just actually try C++11 and see if that's high enough. Um, nope, still some errors, uh, but we have fewer uh, this time. So we can kind of keep iteratively trying the minimum version. Uh, I believe our CMake file will actually tell us um, if we look in it. Uh, usually it'll tell us, um, if I go back in the directory, uh, what the minimum version or the standard version of C++ is. Um, I actually, let's see if it says, um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we just have to read the readme. Uh, I happen to know that 17 or later will work, uh, but again, you could probably do it in a more disciplined way looking at the CMake list here. Okay, so uh, I compiled here. Let me do it again because that happened fast here, but now I'm getting different errors here. Um, and anytime I'm getting these sort of undefined symbols, uh, from some architecture, that means some implementation is missing. Either the C++ file, right, we need to know what the code actually does, or the actual uh, shared libraries, uh, or static libraries, however we want to do. So just as an example, if I look in the include file, and I go into SFML here, um, let me go ahead and just show you uh, graphics HPP. And if I hop in here, uh, you're going to see that in these header files, Right, there's just a bunch of includes to other header files. Uh, so let's actually go into graphics and then maybe, um, how about a rectangle uh, shape is sort of an interesting one. Uh, there isn't any implementation here, right? This is just defining the actual functions. So again, that code is in the libraries that have been compiled. Okay, so let's include those uh, libraries. 
Um, okay, so how do we do that? Well, first we need the path to those libraries, the actual folder here. Okay, so uh, how do we find that? Let's sort of start from our uh, build directory in my bottom window here. And well, here is where lib is. That's where the actual libraries are. So I need this particular path. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this path here. And let's go ahead and paste that in. And if I hit enter, right, I'm still gonna get the same errors because I haven't uh, told which libraries within this path. My compiler just knows to look in this path for particular libraries that I'm gonna specify. So let me actually do sfml graphics, sfml window, and sfml system. And those are the three libraries that are noted in the actual uh, tutorial that are needed. So let me go ahead and hit enter. And uh-oh, well, this is better, but we are getting an error. And it's saying this library that we have was built for a newer Mac OS version, 11.2. Okay, now this is the error I said you might run into. Uh, in our actual CMake here where we specified 11.2 as our target. So you might need to adjust this. I'm going to make it 11.0. Um, I think my machine's actually 11.1. And what this means is I need to regenerate my make file and my build, I actually need to rerun my build here. So this is going to rebuild these. I actually maybe wanted to do a clean first, but uh, this should still be okay. It's just overriding all the different libraries and rebuilding them for the right target. So that's a common problem I've seen folks run into. Um, so I just wanted to show how that arises. Okay, so now if I try to run, uh, now that I've again rebuilt these libraries, you can't tell from here, but uh, embedded within them as the target, if I hit enter, it uh, compiles. So that's great. So now let's try to actually run it. And darn, well, it compiled fine, but why is it not running? And I'm getting this sort of strange error, dyld. Um, let's see if we have any, we don't have any help with whatever that command is, but it says library not noted, our path, uh, lib sml graphics, dylib. Okay, so this whole thing that we were uh, looking for, let's find the graphics one and I'll highlight it. Uh, and in particular, it's looking for version 3.0 uh, here. Uh, it says the image isn't found, but we linked to it and did all this stuff here. Uh, the truth is we need to do uh, one other step here. Um, I'll go ahead and give you the problem here. Um, our path here is something that we can specify in our compiler here that will search while the program's actually running for where these libraries are. So as far as just compiling our program, this is important because it will tell us um, rather what the actual uh, library is and the implementation code so that we can make things work, but we actually need to, uh, as part of the linker, which we specify with WL, uh, specify the R path here, okay? And this is sort of the, um, again, the runtime search path, I'll highlight it here. Uh, the Wikipedia act article actually has a nice article. So our dynamically loaded libraries or our link libraries, uh, we know where to look for those. And those are in just dot slash lib in our uh, actual build here. Um, uh, they're right here, okay? Uh, so our path um, is what we need to specify here. Okay, so um, there's a couple different uh, important things, I guess, if you also wanna see other ways of just how to run or execute programs. In most your programs, when they, they're sort of distributed, have this hidden behind the scenes. They might be launching with some script that's uh, setting that uh, actual path here. Um, so let's go ahead and um, just set uh, this up here. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, set the appropriate R path and you do this with sort of a comma separated uh, list here. And we're going to look within the lib directory to find everything. So if I hit enter here, you'll notice it compiles just fine. And again, just looking at my uh, folder structure here, Here's where my program is, and then it'll know to look in the current directory, so dot slash lib for these shared libraries at runtime. So if I run prog, then we finally get our SFML program and it is working here. So a couple of steps there, and now you'll also know how to sort of distribute your application and why folder structures matter and why you try to do things with uh, sort of relative paths so your dynamic linker can find these libraries. Anyway, that's everything from scratch. I hope that was useful. 
All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that lesson and have SFML successfully built. If you don't, then go ahead and comment below and tell me why it's not building, and we can try to figure it out as a community. Otherwise, if you did find this helpful, it really helps the channel if you like and subscribe, and then you can see some of the cool videos later that we're going to do with SFML actually building things now that you have the library. All right, folks, take care.